specialty pharmacy handles rare and complex, really hard to treat disease states. Medications are often expensive and can be difficult to obtain on insurance as well and just require a lot of extra patient monitoring and maybe different storage requirements as well. And so a pharmacist has a big role in that access process of so getting insurance companies to approve the medication. And then beyond that, um, working with the prescribers to make sure it's ordered correctly and that it can be provided to the patient safely and affordably. I chose to become a specialty pharmacist after learning about uh, the field as a community-based pharmacy resident. I really loved the idea of being able to problem solve, uh, work with insurance companies, selecting the best therapy for the patient based on guidelines, and really being able to have that kind of hands-on patient experience in clinic, but also be able to spend time precepting students, researching, having a more flexible schedule without set patient appointments, but still being that lead consultant for clinic. Every day is very different, um, as I'm sure most pharmacists in their jobs will tell you. Um, but on clinic days, I'm there usually from about 8 to 8 to 4.30, and those are um, really just sitting with the prescribing team, helping everything from the medication decision in that first order to making sure the patient either gets the injection, helping give those, showing them how to do that. If it's an oral medication, counseling on side effects, doing medication reconciliations, pretty much anything uh, the clinic needs that day. Uh, Non-clinic days, working on research, precepting plans, um, doing really a lot of extracurricular things outside of just the normal day-to-day -day patient care, but um, on the office days we do spend a good bit of time on the phone as well, um, consulting with patients, doing counseling, and working with insurance companies to make sure that um, our treatment selection is approved. If a student is interested in pursuing specialty pharmacy, I want to make sure that they keep an open mind. It's not really something that you always learn about in pharmacy school. I work with um, our gastroenterology team doing inflammatory bowel disease, so Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, which I remember maybe learning about for 30 minutes to an hour in pharmacy school and not necessarily having that knowledge base, but kind of becoming an expert on the job. And so you don't have to be brilliant or a genius in a certain therapeutic area to move in there and really have an impact. And so. Um, Residency training helps, but I work with people who came from retail, I work with people who came from inpatient, people with PGY2 residencies, just one year, or maybe even no residency training. So um, there's definitely a bunch of different avenues to get into specialty pharmacy, and um, I'd recommend doing a IPI or API rotation month in that area just to get more comfortable and maybe even just learn a little bit more about different disease states and careers in specialty.